Fired reactor. Roll off. What's up, Reactorites? I'm John. I'm Mike. I'm going to be reacting and reviewing the latest episode of Game of Thrones. This is Book of the Stranger. What's it going to be about? We'll find out. You swore a vow. Aye, I pledged my life to the Night's Watch. I gave my life. For all nights to come. They killed me, Ed, my own brothers. You want me to stay here after that? Uh-oh. Open the gate! I'm approaching. Oh! Santa! Oh, oh they got there quick. <laughs> oh, finally. Uh... Family meets family again. I was like, oh, it's not gonna happen. I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like at the finale. Yeah. <laughs> God, after many years. <laughs> it's a Kodak moment. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about what an ass I was to you. Oh. <laughs> I wish like, I could change everything. We were children. I was awful, just admit it. <laughs> you were occasionally awful. <laughs> I'm sure I can't have been grateful and always sulking in the corner while the rest of you played. Can you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Forgive me. All right. <laughs> All right, I forgive you. <laughs> Where will we go? We can't stay here, not after what happened. There's only one place we can go. Home. Oh, shit. Well, should we tell the Boltons to pack up and leave? We'll take it back from them. Oh! <laughs> Met before. I was King's Guard to Renly Baratheon. Before Renly was assassinated with blood magic. Oh! oh. Pass now. This is in the past. Doesn't mean I forget. It's huge. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. Oh, this guy. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> A jeer falcon. Anthony Mackie? Greatest and rarest of birds. <laughs> no. Slander a man in his own home, you might find yourself crossing swords with him. What kind of swords are we talking Your about? Your home is the Vale, <laughs> the Lord of the... Gather the Knights of the Vale. The time has come to join the fray. The fray? The fray is just... <laughs> just to join the fray. <laughs> the enemy into what? Don't let a size fool you. It's hard enough for me, and I'm a young man. Oh. <laughs> I don't think your heart could take it. Very attached to this knife. Let's <laughs> give it. <gasps> oh. oh! Don't worry. It didn't touch you. He has no weapons. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Come on. Oh. He brought a weapon. Hidden, hidden blade. <laughs> there you attached to this knife. If they find a body with a stab wound, the whole city will be looking for us. The sparrows have many friends in this city. We'll have civil war. Many will die. Many will die no matter what we do. Better them than us. <laughs> 
by the way, I killed your son. <laughs> <laughs> the own. Uh, so, yep. Theon Greyjoy, I said. He's dead. Oh, up. Uh. He's been dead a long time. He broke me. He broke me into a thousand pieces. I know. You don't know? He sent us one of those pieces. Oh! That's why I came for you. <laughs> this guy. Is he gonna grab the knife? Oh. You're a good talker. I had to work hard to get him talking. But he talked. They all do. He told me everything. Uh oh. All about the Stark boys and who helped them escape. And how she did it. Oh! Oh! Damn! Damn! What? Castle Black Hospitality. <laughs> he likes the big, he likes Brienne. <laughs> A letter for you, Lord Commander. I'm not Lord Commander anymore. Just shut up and take the letter. <laughs> <laughs> Just throws it at his feet, then give this to somebody else. <laughs> She's more of the same. You will watch as my soldiers take turns raping your sister. You will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother. Then I will spoon your eyes from their sockets and let my dogs do the rest. Come and see. Ramsay Bolton, Lord of Winterfell, the Warden of the North. Them fighting words. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Lord of Winterfell. Fishy Kalenir Drogosi. Uh oh. What's their plan? Maybe they want to hear words of wisdom. Ajin, he can't find fear in a hand. What is he in that rakoi? Araji kesi mai ma vijazri ati nar mai. Vos ma ana vos khal. Ooh. 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 Vos ma ana vedrek. Oh. Asir jili kath asilaki era. Uh-oh. It's gonna show powers. Yeri Vosechi. Yeri Vadrivoi. Oh! This Yeah. Fire power. She can't get hurt by the fire. Damn. <laughs> and she's gonna like walk out completely fine. Yeah. She's gonna walk out. It's like the Terminator. Yeah. T one thousand. There she is. She naked? She's naked again. <laughs> yep. So how do you not watch that and you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're with you. So she's gonna take the uh She's gonna be ruler of the Thrakis again?
Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Wow. So the gears are turning. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, she's she's back again. <laughs> she's on fire. <laughs> she's on fire. Yeah. Uh, she's on fire. Hot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, Wow, it's like the Dothraki, man. It's like a love-hate relationship. Like, first she was, like, ruling them with, uh, you know, Khal Drogo at her side. Or, you know, she's at her his side. And now she's, like, part of the, uh, uh, what is it, the, the Widows. And uh, she pretty much killed every single, like, the, the main rulers of the Dothrakis. And now everyone's bound down to her. It's going to be interesting now. Now she's going to be able to lead the Dothrakis and then come back to, like, Marine and then rule again and then try to like gather in a lot of people and then she's got the help of Tyrion and I think she's she's, she's gonna be like on a stronger note yeah and like it's, I like that there's this whole like theme of like getting rid of like the old way of thinking the old guard like this yeah you know this whole season like, yeah. yeah the whole thing like it's a recurring thing especially you know with like you know Sir Davos he's like you know old gods drowned gods tree gods they're all the same to me you know but, uh, you know, with, with her and the Dothraki, like, you know, I think Drago was the only person that really, like, turned, like, changed because once he saw what she could do, mm -hmm. he was like, okay, you know, we, we will rule the world together, you and me. And then they're still, like, in that old mentality. And yeah. it's, like, the same thing with, like, the North, because I remember Jon Snow, he's supposed to be at Castle Black. Like, he's yeah. not supposed to do anything. Now he's going to march on Winterfell? Like, that's wrong. He's not allowed to do that. Yeah. So it's like... But he died. He died, okay? <laughs> he gave up his life. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, according to their customs, the old yeah. customs, he's he's supposed to stay there. He's not allowed to do that. So I I think it's just really interesting, like, that recurring thing, especially, like, with the whole High Sparrow stuff, too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, just new, new ways of doing things. So I'm... Interested in seeing if you know Jon Snow. He's he's back with the Sansa finally. Like they haven't seen each other. A lot of shit happened during the fall of Winterfell. Yeah. And to have like just family, they weren't really close before, and now they're just back together. That's really cool because um, that's like the thing that's holding them together. That's all they have left. Yeah. And I want to see uh, what's gonna happen. Are they? Is uh, Jon Snow gonna bring in the Wildlings? He's gonna bring in the rest of the uh, the Night's Watch to help him fight and conquer. Uh, you know, take back Winterfell from Ramsay Bolton. Yeah, and especially yeah. like you remember when the, you first saw them together, like their their interaction was so different. Yeah, like John was more of like a he was like a maid or something. You know, yeah. just like he was, he was like, like they, they treat him like a bastard kid. Yeah, like he's, he's not important enough to be a part of the family. So he's sulking in the background. Yeah, just like not really one of the kids. Just like you know, not mm -hmm. really important. Yeah, and then now they're like their interaction is completely different. Like, she's so happy to see him. It's really, yeah. really cool. Like, I, I like the whole Tyrion because he brings in that whole aspect of di diplomacy mm -hmm. and understanding the politics. Like, we were talking about it that, you know, for Daenerys, she's, she's, she's coming to power, but all she's really done is just kind of, like, mow over people, like, with armies. And, yeah. Like, it's just force. pretty much, like, her way or the highway. So a lot of, you know, a lot of the, uh, the, the slave owners are not going to like that. And so Tyrion goes about it in, like, a... A peaceful way like just so uh, we'll give you like years to readjust and you know the slaves of course they didn't like it or the former <laughs> slaves like yeah. why, why are you dealing with the enemies but uh, he's trying to see on both sides trying to make both sides happy and then in the end just rule out slavery yeah because I mean at this point they're they're vulnerable like they don't have Daenerys they sure as hell probably can't control the dragons so yeah. it's like if they were attacked right now they'd probably be killed so he's just trying to keep peace and, you know, just, it's just a different way of thinking. Not everything's going to be one with swords, you know? Yeah. But I, I really like that, that they included that in this episode. So, yeah, uh, definitely like season six, they're really moving things forward. So right now we have, uh, you know, Jon Snow, it looks like he's going to, like, amass the uh, help from the wildlings and all that. And then uh, Khaleesi, she's going to get the Dothraki and then probably march on to Marine again and then get all those people back on track. So it's all coming together where they're building a bigger empire. And sooner or later, uh, she's gonna come to Westeros, and then uh, things are gonna clash. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if we're gonna finally get to see like Jon Snow somehow take over all of Winterfell, and then take over all of Westeros. That's interesting because he's a, a bastard son. Uh, now he's gonna be the ruler of all of Westeros, like a bastard child. Yeah. And then uh, Khaleesi, she's just like very special, like she's the queen of dragons. So. 
uh, very different people. Yeah. And then that, that'd be interesting if that theory uh, that people have of Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah, what is it again? Like it's, R. Uh, R plus L equals J. For those people that believe in that theory, if he's like part Targaryen, that would be interesting. So we'd have like Targaryen on Targaryen action. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, I think that's something, like, I with the, these episodes, or at least this season, like, it seems like everybody's starting to, like, well, from this last episode and the last one before that, like, the gears of war are moving, like, you're starting to see, like, people are amassing their armies, and it's like, eventually they're gonna have a, a, cl- a collision, like, I mean, yeah. once we get past, you know, uh, Ramsey Snow, it's like, they're eventually they're gonna go to Westeros, and it's like, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be, like, a three-way yeah. between... People from Westeros, uh, Khaleesi, and then you know Jon Snow. It's like for the battle for the the throne. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then let's say they're fighting. They look up, they see the White Walkers, <laughs> and then they all join forces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're still coming, man. Yeah, and the White Walkers. They're uh, I don't know, and they're it looks like they're gonna be very deadly, very powerful, and just gonna like wipe everything out. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Uh, do you think Jon Snow is going to be able to take over all of Westeros? Or do you think he's going to have some trouble? Or uh, do you think uh, Khaleesi is on the track of just uh, continuing to amass her army? Maybe stay at Marine? Or do you think she's going to finally uh, go to try to conquer Westeros? Let us know in the comments below. With that said, I'm John. I'm Mike. And we'll see you guys next time. He's alive! <laughs> He's naked. The fan girls just scream. <laughs> Hello, John. <laughs> they stopped me. <laughs>